All right, so for dinner tonight, I am making a creamy shrimp pasta, I guess. That's the name of it. Low key, it, I think it's like a shrimp alfredo at this point, but I don't have my noodles, so I'm using rotini noodles, which always come out really great, so no worries. Have my water boiling for the noodles, and my shrimp cooking, and it's almost time to flip them. Um, and this is a game changer, you guys. Wow. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, so what um, Anthony's mom taught me is that you put your garlic cloves in um, the chopper. I think I'm saying everything wrong, but you get the point. <laughs> you put this in the little chopper thing where it minces and like all that stuff, and you add olive oil to the garlic, and it makes like this paste, like a garlic paste, and like this is game changer. So we put it back in the minced garlic jar, but it's actually like a garlic paste, if that makes any sense at all. But game changer right here. So this is another quick recipe I got from Pinterest. Don't sleep on Pinterest, you guys. Like they have some really great recipes. Like sometimes on Pinterest, I'll just type like recipe with shrimp or a chicken breast recipe and like always mind blown at what I come across. So again, don't sleep on Pinterest. And I threw some chicken nuggets and some fries in the air fryer real quick for trip just in case because he likes pasta, but he just has his days where he picks and chooses when he wants to eat with the rest of the family. So, we have this for backup. So, I honestly feel like at least once a week we have pasta or at least a pasta with shrimp in it because we buy shrimp every week like we're obsessed with shrimp and as you guys know um i literally was about to call it anthony trip <laughs> as you guys know anthony is from boston and so they are known to have the best seafood and so <sighs> north carolina can never but we try to incorporate seafood as much as possible um, I'm a huge salmon fan. Like, I could eat salmon probably every single day and eat it a different way, eat it the same way. Like, I love it that much. It's like, uh, it's chef's kiss to me, but shrimp is cool too. I can do shrimp pretty often. All right, so now I'm gonna add in my, like, garlic paste. And I hope I explained that right, but it's literally like a paste. It's not mince, it's like a garlic paste. Really good, you guys. And my favorite part is the wine. It acts for one third, but I'm probably gonna add in two cups because it's been a crazy week. <laughs> hey, say hey. What's happening? He's like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Bud, 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 please, please. I just added my Parmesan cheese into the heavy cream here. I'm gonna mix this up and I'm gonna also season this more. The recipe doesn't call to season it more, but I'm just gonna add my little blackness to the recipe, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm not sure if anyone's like me, but I cannot cook. Okay, so like I was saying, I don't know if anyone's like me, but every time I'm cooking, I just cannot wear my ring or like really any jewelry like on my hands. Like I just feel weird. Like I need to take everything off that I can cook. So I do that every time. I always put my ring like literally on this counter next to the camera. Cause I just like, it feels so weird to me. I don't know if it's just a me thing. And I know people like have this thing like, don't ever take your ring off. And I'm just like, yeah, like I take it off Mom? all the time. Are you joking? <laughs> Cause I just don't like it when I'm doing certain things. It's weird. 
All right, I think we're done. I just added the noodles and shrimp in and topped it off with some parsley. And I think I'm just gonna pair it with some garlic bread. So no veggies tonight. <laughs> One of those nights. Sometimes it's just like, you just don't add veggies in your meals. Maybe that's just me. All right, and here is the presentation. It looks so good, oh my God. But this is literally why we cannot reach our goals because I'm making pasta and pairing it with <laughs> a side or a piece of garlic bread. This is so... <laughs> but can we get into the details of the pasta? Are you joking? And again, this was not even supposed to be with rotini noodles. It was supposed to be with like linguine, I think. But I did not have any. And this just shows you that you could use any pasta noodle usually. And this is Tripp's plate. Yes, right. No. <laughs> Say daddy again. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you see your books? Book. 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 He's so smart. <laughs> Good book. <laughs> Babe, he's gonna know. You have to read it. <laughs> Just read it. <laughs> Once upon a time. There were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother. That's all right. <laughs> all right, so today is a very special day. We are getting our brand new couch today from CB2, and I'll make sure I link it below in the description part of the YouTube. But we had a white couch, and we realized that Having a white couch with a toddler is not smart. And so um, it was getting really disgusting. Like Tripp was putting like crackers in the couch and like just all kind of stuff. It was, it was getting really messy. And so we should have known that the white couch would not be white for long. And so we're going with another look and I can't wait to show you guys because it will be delivered in just a few hours. So stay tuned. So our couch is officially in place. It looks so good. Anthony and I are literally obsessed with this couch. And it's also very comfortable as well, surprisingly. Like we were kind of like hesitant because of the reviews online. There weren't too many, but um, the color of, it, color of it is perfect and it's so spacious for when we have guests or I just want to come downstairs and hang out. And I, again, will link the couch below. We did get it from CB2 and it got here so quick, you guys. My <laughs> desk is literally from CB2 and it won't be here till July. So that tells you that if you want this, it's still available. Um, I think because my desk is just super popular, that's why it won't get here. But we are so obsessed with this couch and we feel like the color is just such a nice pop for our living room. Like, are you joking? So cute. And obviously my favorite part is just the detailing and the whole couch, like details in the couch is just so cute. It just runs along the whole couch and just gives it like a unique, um, I don't know, just like unique look to it. So we're again, we're so obsessed. We need to throw some pillows on here and like make it a little cuter, but this is a new couch you guys. So my purse from Coach just got here. I'm so excited. Um, it was so cute. I've been looking for like a staple purse just to kind of have. And I didn't want something like super, super expensive. And I don't know, Coach is just such a classy like 
I don't know, classy and elegant brand to me. I don't know. That's just me, but I got this cute everyday bag, and so I'm going to unbox it with you guys. It's so cute. This is her. Oh my god. She's so cute. So she comes with two straps. There's a long one and then there's a short one. Honestly, I'm just gonna be using the short one. I don't ever see myself using the long one to make it like a what like a messenger bag, I guess. Um, I'm definitely gonna be wearing it as like a shoulder bag and oh my god, it's just so cute for every day. It has this little back little opening here. Um, and then when you open it, if I can with one hand um this is the inside and it has this really nice like material here what is that um lots of space in the inside as you guys can probably see there's a little zipper here and there's a huge opening in the back and then there's a little like little sleeve here in the front so definitely enough room for my vlog camera my phone even like my film camera if i wanted to put all three in here um, because honestly, after that, I'll carry my sanitizer, my wallet, um, probably some blotting powder, or what is it, like the, the blotting powder, is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, and then like my lip gloss, so, um, I feel like all that can fit in here. I might try it today or tomorrow, but I am obsessed with this cute bag. You guys do not sleep on Coach because this is cute and it was on sale too. And as you guys can see, you know, still got the pony, rocking the pony, but I do get my braids tomorrow morning. Praise God, because whew, this is like my transitional like hair, like style. Like I only rock it for a few days before my next hairstyle, like whether it's like micro links or a bob, like a sew in, or if I'm getting braids, like this is like my transitional. It's so easy, I just slick my hair back pop a little little ponytail you know with the string so i literally look like a a milk dud <laughs> you guys know i'm talking about those little candies like look at my head shape a milk dud <laughs> This is on me, um, but I am heading to go get trip for his <laughs> doctor's appointment. It's Friday. I feel like Fridays are like low-key my days off. I mean, obviously I'm working, but like I just run so many errands on Fridays every time just to like prep for the weekend. Um, but yeah, trip has a doctor's appointment this morning, and I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what it's for. Like every time he has an appointment, we schedule the next one and I put it in my calendar, obviously. So I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, appointment coming up and don't know if he's gonna get shots today. Like it's gonna be a surprise for literally all of us. So hopefully he doesn't get shots today. If he does, that's gonna suck, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. But yeah, trip is, okay, February, March, March to April, April, May. He is officially 15 months. Um, you know what? This is what it is. It's his 15 month checkup or whatever. Um, but yeah, he's 15 months and it's so crazy to even think like, like he is this old, like, oh my God, I can't like, I can't even wrap my head around it because like, I feel like it's happened so fast, but I'm not going to lie. The first few months was tough. Like it was tough. Okay. <laughs> so just to like, even imagine like him, like right now, like it's just so crazy. Like he's walking, he's talking, he's or doing more talking, obviously. He's doing 
sign language. Like, he is the smartest kid alive, okay? Like, just let me have it. I know everyone says this about their kid, but he's really the smartest kid alive. Um, so yeah, he just makes my heart go boom, boom. Like, I love him so much. But yeah, so going to pick him up and then take him to the doctor's appointment and we're gonna probably grab some lunch together. <laughs> I'm thinking Chick-fil-A. That's literally what my, my like, cravings are craving. Cravings are craving? That's literally what um, I'm craving. <laughs> so we're gonna get some Chick-fil-A, um, Mason inside, I don't know, and then I'm gonna take him back to daycare that he can have nap time um, and do all that. But it is Mother's Day weekend and I'm super excited. Um, this will be my second Mother's Day, um, or celebrating my second Mother's Day. Last year we went to Boston for my first Mother's Day and it was so fun. Um, I think that was Tripp's first flight. I'm pretty sure it was. He was like three months old. Um, he's flown, he's been on the plane like maybe three or four times. Um, I'm pretty sure that was his first flight when we went to Boston and he did so well on the plane. Um, but that was like a super fun like Mother's Day. Like um, Anthony and his sister did like a whole like seafood boil. And I'll try to like put a picture um, like right here. but. It was so good, and like we stayed on like on set. If I'm not gonna even act like I know about Massachusetts because I don't. <laughs> uh, Anthony's from there. If you guys didn't know, he's from Boston. But um, we stayed on Onset Beach because his um, Anthony's mom, my mom in love, love her to death. She has a beach house out there, so we stayed there for Mother's Day, and it was absolutely just perfect. Um, and trip was small, literally so cute, and it was just a great time. So I decided to celebrate my second Mother's Day. Uh, my mom and sister are actually coming in town because we're going to an event together. And then uh, I think Anthony, he has like a surprise brunch for me tomorrow. So it's gonna be a really fun weekend. Like I don't know, like holidays are cool, but like I'm also one of those people that like every day is Mother's Day. Like you can give me a gift or flowers anytime. I was saying I'm so thankful and. Um, it's so fun to celebrate on an actual like day, which is, you know, Sunday, but like, I'm one of those people, like, we can celebrate any day, you know, you can show me things and appreciation any day, so that's just me, but I'm um, really excited to be, again, celebrating my second Mother's Day, it's truly a blessing, and my God, motherhood is not easy, like, <laughs> it's ghetto, <laughs> motherhood's ghetto, um, ghetto 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 but it's also the most rewarding fulfilling like it's just amazing I, like sometimes I look a trip to this day still I just like start bawling I was like oh my god I can't believe you came out my vagina like <laughs> you're so cute like me like you have eyelashes and like ugh, I can go on and on he's just the cutest thing in the world but yeah um that's what I do sometimes I just stare at him all day because he's like my world okay <laughs> All right, so let's talk about motherhood, you guys. Like, let's talk about it. Like, I am gonna be honest, and like, that's just who I am. I like to be honest, <laughs> and I'm gonna keep it real. Like, that's just something I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these off, and you guys can like see my eyes. But um, yeah. So I just want to say that I don't believe there is like, I don't know. There may be, but I don't know if there's any book or anyone's really like keeping it real about motherhood because like my god it is the most challenging thing okay but it's worth it all and I will definitely keep saying that like it's worth it but um it's ghetto like are we joking it's <laughs> it's a lot um but motherhood yeah it's I won't even get into marriage like or you know being a wife and being a mom like that's a thing of itself okay I'm just gonna talk about motherhood today um because you know I am celebrating my second Mother's Day and I'm super excited um but I cannot imagine like having more than one child like <laughs> honestly Anthony and I we like we talked and like our max is two but I'm still pushing the like ugh, one mark because it's just like like I know it's the beginning and trip is like he just turned one like I get it but um it's a challenge you guys like those first few months of motherhood for me was extremely difficult I feel like I'm just back getting into the swing of things and also it's like a new me um and I'm embracing this new season obviously but like um it was hard okay like 
such a challenge. Like, I just grew up as an independent person. Like, obviously, I have a little sister, but like, I've always been pretty independent. So, to have like this baby, like, depending on me for everything, whether it's to change his diaper or feed him, I was breastfeeding um, at the time. Like, someone depends on you so it was so much and I just felt so overwhelmed I mean there was days I just like if I'm being honest I didn't want to be here um which I can talk about deeply at another time but like um did not want to be here like I was like huh I feel like I just don't want to do this you know I don't want to do this anymore and it's not because you don't love your child like honestly I love Tripp so much and I love Anthony with all my heart but like there's just nothing to prepare like you for what motherhood is and like I'm not trying to speak so negative about it like obviously like I said it's so beautiful like I am completely grateful um to be a mom and you know shout out to all the moms out there who have multiple kids like shout out to us because we're literally superheroes um and anyone who is trying like oh my gosh like my heart goes out to you um but it's a challenge like I, like I said, I was breastfeeding for a few months. I hit six months of breastfeeding, and it got to the point, like, Trip got teeth, and I was like, yeah, I can't do this anymore. And also, I wanted my body back. Like, I was just like, I'm just exhausted. Like, I want my body back. I don't want to have to go out on a weekend with girls or go out of town. I have to worry about pumping anymore. I just want to be. And so I was like, yeah, I am think I'm done breastfeeding. And so I stopped at six months, and it was a great transition for Trip. Like, we kind of weaned him off. Um, like, we kind of started mixing, like, formula um, with breast milk and it just worked like thank god it was an easy transition but um you know like trip is i could honestly like he is such a good kid like everything was pretty smooth sailing with him even when it came to like sleep and everything so I, honestly god has blessed me with the perfect kid <laughs> like like or just the best kid like to just be in our lives because like it it was already such a challenge so i can't even imagine having a child that was screaming or crying all the time like Trip was just like he's a baby you know um but it was hard like I I don't know if anyone's like me but I never grew up as the person who was like dreaming about being married or dreaming about having a family not saying I never wanted that but it's just like first of all I don't dream <laughs> like I don't dream at all but it's just not something like I thought about like I was just living my life I've always been that way just living my life like I'm very a real I'm like ugh. I'm a realist I think that's how you say it um and so it just those aren't things I thought about um but obviously like I'm like again I think I'm gonna keep saying this I'm super grateful and blessed like to be married to an amazing man and to have an amazing child but it's just stuff I never dreamed about and so when all this happened it was really just a lot like um you know getting married if you haven't heard me and Anthony's story we have a YouTube video out and also a podcast that's coming out and like we talk about more in depth of like how that happened for us like how we got married and then um you know we certainly had a kid afterwards so like it was like a lot at one time and dealing with that like transition it was just overwhelming for me and you know your life is changing when you have a child obviously but you don't realize too that like other people's lives change they start changing because your life changes and you're just not mentally prepared for that um like I just feel like my friendship started changing because I got married but then let alone when I had a child or people found out I was pregnant I just felt like everything started shifting and um it was extremely hard so imagine like being a new mom new wife and then dealing with friendships and dealing with family like it was like overload for me like I just remember being so down and that's sometimes why I'm kind of scared of like even thinking about a second child because like I was so down like I've never seen myself so down like that before like postpartum hit me hard you guys it hit me so bad like and that's why it's like I don't know if I want to go back to that place and by the grace of God like I don't believe I will go back because like I now know what I need to do like I can be honest say I wasn't in my word like I was supposed to um you know spending time with God I wasn't like I wasn't really trying to take time for myself and it's just hard you're trying to balance all of these things and so I hope now like I know how to move and I like I, I you know I always hear it gets easier for the most part like even with trip like it gets easier and it has gotten easier I totally like I'm gonna say that to the next moms out here it does get easier like at first I didn't believe it but it does and so um 
I feel like with a second child, it may be even better because, like I said, I just know what to do now. But um, there's just nothing to prepare you. No mom can tell you how it's going to be. Like, I, we can talk about it, but everyone's different. Um, and it's just like you, you got to experience it for yourself, you know. But at the end of the day, like, I look back and, like, like I said, a year has gone by so fast with Trip, and it's just like crazy how much she's grown and learned. And, like, to be able to witness all these things, it's just like an amazing feeling and like I can honestly say like I can imagine Trip not being in our lives like I love being a mom and but it also like <laughs> it, it has its days like sometimes like I just can't like I said Trip's only once so I just know there's you know there's more stuff to come and learn about him but like it is a whole whole new world a whole new world yeah it's just like being a mom it's just like it's a lot it is ghetto like it's a lot but um i'm super grateful again and like i love trip and i love our little family like he's the cutest in the world like what like our jeans are so cute like <laughs> makes you want to have another baby right um i'm talking to myself and trying to tell myself i should have another baby <laughs> i can honestly say that i realized being around mom like a lot more just being around a lot more moms um, was very helpful for me. Like, I realized I was, I was like the only one in our, like, in my friend group who was a mom, and it was extremely hard to deal with that because, like, I felt like I would be left out sometimes. People wouldn't ask me things or just like make decisions for me, and I hated that. And so I just started to get around a few more moms, and I can't even name all of them out. Like, you know who you are. Like, I wish I could give shout outs because, like, I would probably leave someone out, but like, you know who you are, and I'm super grateful because, like, whether it was like a DM or like a, just a quick text or just saying a hello or just messaging me, like I am so thankful for you and like all the feedback and advice because I couldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the moms that really helped me with this transition because I needed you. Little did you know, anything you told me, I needed you. Um, and so thank you so much um, for that and being a helping hand in that. But I will say this, you guys, if there's anything you wanna leave with this video, um, or my little spill of motherhood. Um, it is unique community. And I know that's so hard to believe for some people because I was that person. Like, I was like, yeah, I'll do this on my own. I can figure it out because my mom did that. And like a lot of the older generation, they did that. And I'm not saying that was the best thing to do. And you know, sometimes you just can't help it. I feel like the older, older generation, maybe they just couldn't help it. They were trying to figure it out. They just were like, yeah, I'm going to do this. But you need community. Like, you need help. You're gonna need help, you're gonna need assistance, and I can't be, oh my God, I'm just so thankful for the community we have. We've had, um, we've had our couple friends watch Trip. We've had, my mom has watched Trip, my dad, like my sister, like, every, like we've had community help out with Trip, and you're gonna need it, and so I say this, like, don't be afraid to ask for help because people get it. They know you need your date nights. They know you need to spend alone time with your husband. Like, they know you need to get out, have me time. Like, don't be afraid to, like, ask for help because I was one of those people who was like very hesitant on asking for help but it feels so good like people really do want to help and actually people love babies they want to watch your baby for you but find people you can trust obviously but like don't be afraid to ask for help and have a community having community is important like you need it and like Anthony's sister just moved down here and she's like yeah let me know I can watch trip anytime and like I love that like we like we're just so grateful that someone's already reaching out and wants to help because like I said you're gonna need the help y'all I'm trying to like back in a parking space hopefully I'm able to do this <laughs> but yeah if there's anything you take away from this video because I I'm not one to give advice in my opinion like I'm still trying to figure out this life of motherhood and being a wife but um you do need, you do need community like you do need community you're gonna need help and like God didn't call us to be out here alone like get community do it because you're gonna need it and you're gonna love it and it's gonna be the best thing for you to be able to do this whole transition thing so that is my piece of advice and I probably just like said a small portion of what like I actually felt or dealt with but like um, at the end of the day like I love being a mom exactly I love being a mom and I'm super grateful so I'll see you guys later here for your appointment you say you ready okay yeah. I know. Oh.
Say hi. Say hi. Over here, over here. What, you want to hold it? Okay, you done? <laughs> you done? It is a Mother's Day. Whoop, whoop. This is my second Mother's Day. Cel yeah, so celebrating my second Mother's Day. And it's been a really great day so far. Anthony surprised me this morning with a leather tote bag, which I'll make sure I put a picture here. And then um, some flowers and some balloons. Like, literally had no idea that that was going to be downstairs. I was like, wow. <laughs> Big surprise. So <laughs> it was really nice though. And now we're heading to brunch. I have no idea where we're going, where we're going. All right, another surprise. So he won't say anything, but today has been a really great day. I spent the weekend with my mom and my sister. They came in town um, and we went to Bar Taco last night, which is one of my favorite restaurants. But it's been a really, really great weekend and I'm excited to celebrate all day. All day? All day long. Every single hour, every single second of the day. Well, during the game. Right. Oh, game yeah. Seven. Boston. The Celtics are playing who? 76ers. 76ers. Game seven. Game seven. So I think it's pretty trifling that they're doing it on uh, Mother's Day. but Oh, really? Is it that trifling? Yeah, it is trifling. Up there. I mean, you don't have to watch. But I have to watch. So. But you'll still be celebrated, you know. In the middle of the game. Yeah. To see that, it's like I think maybe the half time you do I like, feel a, like you should take a Mother's Day nap. I don't want a nap, I want I want to celebrate every second. This only happens so once like, a year. You don't want a nap. This only happens once a year. Mother's Day nap, yeah. So that's today, nice. but it doesn't take much to like. I just like the simple things, simple things in life, spending time with my boo. She ain't so she ain't all that simple. Okay, I mean, we're gonna end this. <laughs> Get for us our snacks, snacks. Dug it out. It's really cute. Alright, so this is our appetizer, and this is the cinnamon rolls. Looks so good. This right here? So good. What is this good? What is this? A fish dip. A fish dip. Fish dip. Catfish. Yeah, it's good. Anthony got shrimp and grits, and I got bolo grits. Bolo and grits? Yeah, which is like alligator, which is gonna be so good. It's a gator. Gator. 